is EDUC 4703, Problem and Inquiry-Based Learning. Title of this video clip is Software Used in This Course, Tools and Affordances. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. Number one, which competencies will need to be accessed and or developed in this course? Number two, which tools make use of synchronous technologies? How can you tell if a tool is synchronous or not? And number three, which tools allow for the creation of information and or projects that will be used to facilitate the course activities? Affordances can be thought of as the quality of an object to provide or make a specific function available to the users. While competencies refer to the quality of individuals of being adequately or well qualified to use those functions, the HCHI or Human Computer Human Interaction Model Desjardins 2001-2005 is used as the basis for determining the competencies which will be addressed by the affordances embedded in the software tools used. And these can be classified into four basic categories. First is technical competencies or interactions between learners and the technology itself involving the navigation of the interface. So that would be an individual actually making use of the uh, mouse and the keys to navigate around on a computer itself or on a specific site or on a specific uh, application. Um, there are social competencies, that is interactions between learners using the affordances of communication provided by the technology. There are informational competencies, finding, sorting, creating, aggregating, filtering, and connecting information using technology. And finally, epistemological or procedural competencies, that is creating and modifying knowledge or new understandings using technology in order to solve problems. And that is all taken from Desjardins, Lacasse, and Belair 2001 toward a definition of four orders of competency for the use of information and communication technology in education. And that is found in the proceedings of the fourth IASTED International Conference uh, in Calgary in 2001. The remainder of this video clip will be discussing primarily a number of tools that uh, are required or may be used within the actual course itself. The first one that we'll talk about is Adobe Connect because it plays such a central part in this particular course and all of the other courses in the BA program. Um, as this program is entirely online and uses Adobe Connect for all face-to-face -face virtual communications, all candidates are required to have the necessary computer resources and the ability to join and maintain a desktop video conference using Adobe Connect in order to participate in all classes. These requirements are repeated in the course syllabus posted in the Blackboard's portion of this course. The first set of requirements talks about uh, the kind of computer and the platform that you'll be using. Participation in these courses requires all candidates to have access to a computer, and that could include a mobile device of some kind with the minimum characteristics of at least Windows 7 or above. Uh, that includes up to uh, version 10, uh, Windows 10, Mac OS X 10, um, and we're up to 10.10 .10 at this point in time and whatever the latest version of Linux is, um, for instance, Ubuntu or something along those lines. Video capabilities need to include either a built-in or an external compatible web camera. We'll be using the web camera in all cases inside Adobe Connect. The audio capabilities must include a combination of a headset or a microphone. And the, again, I will emphasize must include uh, headset or a microphone. The external speakers are not acceptable as they will cause feedback noise. In a pinch, earbuds with an integrated microphone from a smartphone such as an iPhone or a, a Galaxy, uh, etc. should work. Uh, they have in the past. Candidates may find that their experience in online courses will be enhanced with the use of mobile computing devices including laptops, iPods, smartphones, tablets, similar devices. This would require the actual downloading and installation of an app for every one of the major platforms that are out there, including iOS, Android, 
and BlackBerry 10. Candidates must also have internet access with sufficient speed or bandwidth to allow full audio and video participation in Adobe Connect meetings. It's suggested that this connection be accessed from home as schools tend to have firewalls that can block many of the features of these courses such as video conferencing. In order to verify the adequacy of your connection, you should run and pass the Adobe Connect self-test that can be found at just do a search for self-test and a speed test for your inter internet connection speed can also be performed and you can use the tool speedtest.net for that. Speeds for your, for your connection must exceed 2 megabits per second download speed and 0.7 megabits per second upload speed. Adobe Connect itself can be accessed through browser and uh, like all software there are minimum system requirements for Adobe Connect. Please ensure that your laptop or desktop meets the minimum requirements and you can do that by doing the tech specs uh, for Adobe Connect um, 9.3. Um, once the session of Adobe Connect is finished, ending the meeting will allow the system to reallocate the bandwidth somewhere else and help relieve the system from unnecessary loads. Using the guidelines above will assist in making the experience of synchronous online classes more enjoyable for all concerned. By the way, did you know that you can access the Adobe Connect VA General Room 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year? This room is set up for your use to connect with your colleagues, to practice using the tools, etc. And best of all, with your program registration, you are automatically registered as a host into this space, which means that you can use it whenever you want. Uh, Adobe Connect tutorials can be found at the link that you see on the screen. Google Hangouts. A new video tool or relatively new audio video conferencing tool has arrived. This tool, Google Hangouts, can be accessed through your UIT.net account. And like Adobe Connect, you can meet a number of individuals simultaneously. However, unlike Skype, you have access to a large number of tools that you can use while you hang out and you can learn more about Hangouts at the link that is shown on the screen. Microsoft Skype, while not used to support tutorial sessions in this course, you may want to use Skype, which is an alternative video conferencing service, to conduct your own conversations with in a one-on-one -on -one way through this tool. And you can see a Skype tutorial at the link that's shown on the screen. We'll also may be making use of collaborative document production, editing, and sharing. And for this, Google Drive and Google Docs are required for the course and are available to you through your UIT.net account. Google Drive allows you to share your documents with your colleagues and friends, regardless of what format the documents may be created in. And in addition to that, there are at least three different document formats that are available through Google Docs. That is a word processor called Docs, a spreadsheet called Sheets, and a presentation tool like PowerPoint called Slides. A drive tutorial can be found at the link on the screen and Google Docs tutorial can be found at the link on the screen. And It may be of interest to learners that Google has added synchronous functionality to Google Docs. This means that multiple users, and they all must have shared access to the same document, can simultaneously edit and modify a Google Doc and all modifications will be synchronously updated on the site. We will also be making use of discussions within the course and there are a couple of different tools that may be used depending on which course you're actually accessing. Web Knowledge Forum will be used in, in EDUC 4703 and tutorials for this application can be found on the iKit that is the Institute for Knowledge Innovation and Technology YouTube channel and that link is given on the slide. Blackboard discussion tool may also be used and it has a tutorial that can be found at the link on the screen. Twitter may be used as well for interacting between individuals and a tutorial for Twitter can be found at the link on the screen as well. TweetDeck, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, essentially allows you to do multiple searches in Twitter simultaneously and they're arranged as columns on the screen. TweetDeck is created by Twitter and you can find a link to TweetDeck at the link that is shown on the screen. Prezi is a presentation tool and you can find a tutorial about how to use Prezi at prezi.com learn. 
Instant messaging, examples such as Blackboard Chat, MSN Messenger, BBM, Skype Chat, and Adobe Connect Chat are going to be used at all in most courses in the BA program, including this one. And it's assumed that most will already be familiar with tools that allow synchronous text chat sessions. Some of these are combined with whiteboard and file sharing affordances, such as inside Adobe Connect, and Google Hangouts as well. Um, and these provide additional functionality. Video viewing, posting, and concept maps um, are going to be used in this course. YouTube posting, which is required and accessible through your UIT.net account, and a tutorial for that can be found on the screen. Please note that this tutorial is two years old and there are slight discrepancies with the latest updates procedures on the YouTube site. CMAP is again required for this course and there's a tutorial regarding how to use CMAP as there are a variety of presentations and videos that are available can be found at the link that is found on the screen. The theory portion of this course is going to be accessed through the paper that I mentioned earlier and there is the, the reference list for it and again this paper is probably going to be provided to you through your Blackboard shell. And finally, the synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. Number one, why would the social competency not be called the communication competency? Number two, which competencies would be included in the Web 2.0 designation and why? Number three, which competencies would be included in the Web 3.0 designation and why? And number four, what benefits do video conferencing afford, affordances provide for an online course? Thank you for listening, and this is the end of this particular video clip.